Visitors are arriving at Belmont Nursing Home in Stillorgan in Dublin, albeit in fewer numbers. New restrictions introduced yesterday mean that one visitor per resident can enter the premises, which means that for Rachel Farrell, it's back to window visits with her mother. It was lovely with the restrictions easing the last while that any of us that were in Dublin could come and see mum and now it's because of the outbreaks they've had to restrict that to one member of the family so I knew it'd be my older sister. It's an obvious choice, so and I was teasing her about it. Mary Therese understands the necessity of the restrictions. In this building is one family, one cocoon, and one episode of um, somebody getting the C19 would put the nursing home to the pin of its collar. There's not as much worry around it as there was at the beginning because they've gone through the last couple of months and they know now, you know, uh, that it's not forever. According to Nursing Homes Ireland, there are 38 clusters of COVID-19 in nursing homes nationwide. It puts that down to community transmission. Well, at the height of the pandemic, there was 279 clusters, so clearly it is going in the right direction. But because of the increase in community transmission over the last number of weeks, it is a cause of concern. And what we need to do collectively as a society now is take all the public health measures to ensure that we can keep the nursing homes that are now COVID free to maintain them in that position. Nursing home operators are keen to see a roadmap on visitor restrictions for the coming months when the government's plan for the virus is published tomorrow. Alva Keneally, RTE News.